Until a few months ago, steel was a way for the government to save some dollars. Now, that same steel is becoming the reason to spend dollars. Due to global slowdown and government restrictions, steel export from the country has reduced. Due to increase in domestic demand, India has now become the net importer of steel. During October, steel import was 65% higher than export. According to steel ministry figures, in October, 5.93 lakh tons of steel was imported. This is the highest monthly import in two years, while the export stood at 3.6 lakh tons. In order to control domestic inflation, this year in May, the government had imposed some curbs on steel exports. The tax was imposed on exports of iron ore and some other steel products. Due to this, domestic steel prices declined. But this impacted the steel exports. On top of that, economic slowdown decreased global steel demand. This has also reduced steel export from India. The situation is such that steel is expensive in the domestic market, while in the global market, prices have taken a hit. Right now, in the domestic market, the price of benchmark hot coiled steel price has gone up around 55,000 to 57,000 rupees per ton, while the prices in the international market have fallen down to 50,000 rupees per ton. Due to higher domestic prices and foreign exports, profits of steel manufacturing companies have declined. According to reports, earnings of steel companies in the country has fallen by 75 to 90 percent. Now, due to the fall in earnings, it is being urged that restrictions on steel exports should be lifted. However, removing restrictions on steel exports will only help when the demand for Indian steel in global market increases.